Hey, what's going on guys? Flickify here, and today I've got episode 3 of my Kaiser Slattern career mode for you guys. We're starting the episode off with a look at some of our uh, players that we receive in our scouting report, and I will be looking one more month at these two players just to ensure that they do really have a high amount of potential, and we can then sign them to our youth academy. And that's actually going to be really crucial for us this season, uh, because I do plan on doing multiple seasons with this career mode, and they might even develop into strong players that can fit as either subs or starting 11 players, or maybe we'll sell them. We'll see what we do. But our first match today is going to be against Sandhausen, and it is at home, so we're looking to pick up three points, especially after last episode. Uh, you know, we got some decent results, but we're looking to continue that into this episode and hopefully uh, place ourselves near the top of the table, which is obviously our objective for this season. But they're, start they're starting 11, a 4-2-2-2 formation, uh, with the looks of it, two center attacking mid and two, two CDMs. But they're going to get the first opportunity through Jovanovic, and and he will have a go on goal, but it is a good save by Sipple. And we do manage to clear this one out eventually after a little bit of chaos inside the box. But here we're going to steal this one away and a nice through ball played into Zoller. Zoller's going to see the space on the inside. He's going to play it inside. He's going to find Jensen. Jensen has a go. That one hits the top of the crossbar and is cleared out by Schultz and a nice little clearance from their defense. But Nabry's going to pick the ball up right here. He's going to find Jensen yet again. He's going to play it back out to Nabry. Nabry is going to wait for the right opportunity. Gets by the defender with a nice bit of LTRT dribbling. Goes in with the cross. We tried to get a diving header, but that one did not work out in our favor and it was cleared out successfully. It's still nil-nil here in the 71st minute and here they're just doing some nonsense with the ball we're gonna take it from Stoger Stoger's gonna have a go and had that one gone in it would have been a beautiful little uh you know just really would have done it by himself it would have been a nice goal unfortunately that one was just wide but here in the 80th minute they do make it through and they are gonna go on the near post hits the post and rebounds right back to their other player he will finish that one to make it 1-0 for Sandhausen in the 80th minute so that was a tough goal to concede especially since I felt like we had the momentum on our side throughout this game but we were looking to equalize here in the 82nd minute and that corner kick just wasn't gonna work for us that rebound really should have gone in it was an open net the keeper wasn't even looking and he just had to get it past the defenders unfortunately he wasn't able to do so but we get another final opportunity in the 86th minute but it just wasn't gonna happen for us guys and we do lose this one 1-0 one so I do believe that's our first loss this season I might be mistaken but it was a tough match to lose and you know the stats really told the story that the other team had the momentum but in my opinion we were really creating more chances than the other team we didn't get as many shots on target and they really did hold possession but we counterattacked very well but that didn't bother us too much as we go into this second match. And we're looking to pick up three points here. We can't go losing two games in a row, especially if we do want to finish at the top of the league table. Uh, but this team is a very strong one. They've got Konica, and I know he is one pacey guy. I have used him in FIFA 13, and he was a very, very strong bronze player. And he might be someone that we've got to watch out for. And there he is, actually playing a ball on the inside. But that one gets stolen. It's going to be Zoller picking the ball up. He finds the man through, and he's going to have a lot of open space right here. He will take another touch. Has a go. Good save by the keeper, but goes right back to one of our players. And we're going to get a rebound goal there in the ninth minute. So... Payback for the previous game, we get our own rebound goal, and the fans are cheering us on. So that's a good, good start to the match for us, and we continued on not only a couple minutes after. It's going to be Lakic. He's going to muscle pie the defender. Great job there. Does a couple of skill moves, and he will get a chance to cross this one in. Does so, and we're going to go on the cross, and we just couldn't get ahead on that one, and it was cleared out. But they're going to get their first opportunity here. It's going to be Sylvester finding Luxic on the outside. He's going to cut back inside, and a great cross. Uh, found into their player they will keep possession right here just waiting for that right opportunity and this is legendary difficulty for you guys the passing is immense but luckily for us we made a couple of good saves and a couple of good blocks as one of our players was injured hopefully he does end up being all right but we're going to get another opportunity here through Lakic he's going to send the cross but nothing happened on that one but it rebounds back to our center attacking mid he gets the ball stolen from him and nothing resulted on that bit of play but we're in the second half right now in the 53rd minute as one of our players tries to get back on size it's going to be Lakic again he's gonna have a go and that one is saved again by their keeper goes back into play and they're gonna get another chance just a couple of minutes later as one of our players was injured <clears throat> but it is played through and that is legendary difficulty for you they found the right pass and they are so fluid and quick with their play that it is difficult to defend sometimes and they made it 1-1 at that point in time that didn't stop us guys on the kickoff we're gonna go right away I do not go for the KSI kickoff but rather Eddie's gonna build up play from the start and here just a nice bit of passing one two balls 
And we're going to play it through to their man on the outside. It's Matt Moore. Matt Moore is going to look for the cross, but rather he's going to cut inside. And then we'll cross it in. And we go with the header goal. Blackett goes with the original header. And we get another rebound goal. I think it was Matt Moore, actually. Just in the right place at the right time. Going back, cutting inside after his cross. And we, he was able to make it 2-1 to one for us. So that was a great goal for him. And Matt Moore is a quality little player for us. And here, this was a, nearly a horrible mistake. I should have just cleared it out right away. But Sipple makes two amazing saves. Keeps the game at 2 to one for us and we were pushing on trying to make it 3-1 the 87th minute it's gonna be Stoger he's gonna find Bunjaku and I think I pronounced that name right but we're, uh, wrong but we're gonna continue on with Ede he's gonna have a go and he's gonna blast that with his left foot into the right side of the goal across the keeper so a nice finish by him and he's gonna make the game 3-1 to one for us and pretty much seal the deal make sure that we can pick up the three points and yes we do win the match 3-1 to one. so a nice bit of results from us in this match a lot of goals and a little bit more even possession although the fact that we did uh, not uh, gain the majority of possession in that match. But moving on to our final game in this episode, we've got another match against Sant Pali. I want to say we played him early on this season, but I'm not positive there. Uh, but this one is, of course, in the league. So we do have to pick up some points. I think I do actually show the league table. Yes, the game finally shows it. We are sitting at fourth place. So we've got Köln, Munich, and Berlin in front of us. And Berlin's actually dominating the league. They haven't lost yet. So we have to make sure we get a good result when we do manage to play them in the league. Here's our starting 11. No major change with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And here's their 4-1-2-1-2 formation again. Some quality players on their team. And uh, it's just a very similar team to ours, so it was going to be a good match from the start. Here's Nathan Ake making a steal. He's going to find Zola. Zola's going to find our striker. He's going to do a nice fake shot to get some more space. And then look at this for a through ball. Great touch by Zola. Takes another touch, and he's going to rocket that one in. That was a fantastic through ball just to the right place. And from a striker to another striker, that was a perfect pass. It was like as if he was a center attacking mid in the BPL. Just uh, with the perfect pass right there. But we are going to continue on in the 22nd minute off the goal kick. Unfortunately, we're going to not get very lucky with the clearance. And we're going to get it taken away from us. They're going to go through on goal. And just a clutch slide tack with a slow that guy down. Unfortunately, he just jumped right over it. And he managed to finish that. So that made it one all in the 22nd minute. So this one had a couple of more goals than in the previous couple of matches. But in the 34th minute, they're going to build up play from the start. And we will get this one stolen. It's going to be our striker. He sees the space yet again. He's going to send Zoller through. Zoller's going to cut back inside. Go with that shot. And he's going to just finish that one very clinically in the perfect spot in the side of the net. And just a beautiful finish by him. And uh, they're going to continue on, though, on the right after kickoff. They're going to go with the potential KSI, but, of course, the computer doesn't do that too often. And uh, Bull is going to find the man on the inside here. He's going to keep on dribbling. He goes over the top to their striker, who I believe picked up the first goal, and he's going to put that one just wide. So a very close chance for them. But just a minute later, they're going to get another opportunity. Luckily for Chambers, he was able to clear this one out. But just a poor bit of clearance by our team, and they do manage to cross this one in and they're going to make it 2-2 two to two right there. And that's just bad mistakes on my part. If I'm playing against Legendary Difficulty, I can't be making mistakes like that. When the ball is on our side of the half, I have to just get it out of there and not do anything fancy with the build-up play. But we're going to continue on. It's going to be Zoller with the pace. Perfect ball to bring it down. That one hits the upper 90. Had that gone in, it would have been a beautiful finish. But we're jumping forward to the 57th minute. They're going to get another opportunity to play this one through. And it's going to be their striker yet again. He's creating all these chances. And he manages to barely chip the keeper, making it 3-2. to two for them and it was just so difficult to stop those over the top through balls I do it myself quite a bit and they I will admit they are difficult to defend again that's why I do them but we're going to continue on the 76 minute it's going to be our center attacking mid creating another chance gets by the defenders and he's going to rocket that one into the top of the net to tie things up three to three in the 77th minute and that is how the match did end a very entertaining match and we get a good solid point out of it but guys that will bring an end to the video today I hope you did enjoy it and if you did be sure to hit Hit the like button below and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos. Other than that guys, until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.